You're watching Two Button Crew. Your daily Nintendo of fandom. I'm Scott. And I'm Simeon. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. I haven't shaken hands in front of the screen for a while. Yeah. <laughs> It's on our checklist to do every 10 episodes or so. Yeah. Not really. No. It should be, though. Been playing anything awesome, Simeon? Heck the, yeah, I have. In the year-long interim until the next <laughs> Zelda game. <laughs> yes. So, we're waiting for the next Zelda, but the last Zelda game released, Twilight Princess HD, it's out, and my Nintendo has created this game as a reward, yeah. and it's... Um, my Nintendo Pick Ross, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, which is a huge mouthful. It's one of those or... games that has two colons in the title. Yeah, you that's don't ridiculous. don't find those that often. You don't find people <laughs> that often like that either. <laughs> I don't know if there is such a thing. It's been our experience anyway. <laughs> but yeah, Zelda Pick Ross. And I the have... Two colon crew. The two colon... <laughs> One colon a piece. Yep. Uh, the, uh, I was able to play all the way through this game. Nice. I just got it a couple weeks ago, and that should tell you something that I've already completed it, and it tells I have you been that having I had a blast. Poken for the week. Yes, he had Poken. I didn't, so I've been playing Picross. Nice, and it's been it's been pretty awesome. Best thousand coins you ever spent. Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. I and. Pretty soon I might be getting enough coins for WarioWare as well. So nice. I'm excited. In the old club Nintendo reward days, uh, the coins there used to pretty much equal a dollar. Mm -hmm. And uh, now they don't. They're really easy to get, which is nice. Yeah. The platinum ones, at least. The, the gold ones yeah. are more like the old ones. So we gave Picross an honorable mention. We and, did. Or did we? We included it. It we was a kind Poke of Pokemon... Pokemon Picross. Slash Picross. Mm -hmm. But for me and maybe other viewers that haven't played Picross before, mm -hmm. what's the hook of the game or the, the premise? Okay, basically it's you're given a grid mm -hmm. and you're supposed to fill in the grid with X's, which means there's nothing there, and spaces, which are basically pixels in the picture. And you're making this picture based on numbers that are on the top of the grid and the side of the grid and you got to match up the numbers and fill it all in and it sounds um kind of complicated at first hmm. but it's so easy to get into and it's I'm super addicting getting minesweeper vibes yeah it's eh? kind of like a little bit like minesweeper like you're kind of targeting areas based on number clues yep yep um eliminating the impossibilities and moving towards the possibilities and it's wow, that was inspirational yes moving towards the possibilities <laughs> and it's it's really addicting uh they give you different kinds of hints with the pokemon picross um different pokemon have different powers and they give you different hints otherwise you're on your own mm. with this one you can turn the hints on uh, certain kinds of hints on and certain kind of kinds of hints off and i had a little bit of fun playing with that but some of the hints I just left on just because they just make the stuff move faster and towards I don't think it hurts. the possibility towards the possibilities <laughs> yeah <clears throat> so I know what's impossible and what is possible yeah just faster um and you can turn those on and off um as you wish um so yeah it's right. that's basic the basic way that the game is played so this is Zelda Picross, mm -hmm. and uh, you talked a little bit about Pokemon Picross. So it's not just aesthetic, the, the themes of Picross are also playing to how you get your hints, or could it be really anything? Well, um, the aesthetic for this one is, uh, or the Legend of Zelda aspect to this is basically just aesthetic. Mm. Um, the Pokemon one is a little more in depth, okay. but um, it's basically just aesthetic, like every single puzzle that you do is something having to do with Tw Twilight Princess or The Legend of Zelda. Mm -hmm. So in that way, it's just aesthetic, but aesthetic is most of what you can do in this game. So I think gotcha. it's very, very well integrated. Did it interest you in other Picross games? Yes. Yes, it did. I am kind of addicted to Picross now, so I'm <laughs> like, excited to play whatever Nintendo puts out. What is there out there? Um, I'm I'm actually not quite sure. I know that a lot of the games were 
like really took off in Japan and not so much over here. Mm -hmm. and I don't know why, mm -hmm. but I think that um, with these this new upstart of more Picross games in the U.S., I think that it's going to catch on. Mm. Is this game pumping good tunes to you while you're puzzling away? It kind of is. It's it's pretty good tunes. Um, very Legend of Zelda e. I'm pretty sure um, a lot of the tracks are taken straight from. Um, the Twilight Princess game, but probably ripped them right off that Nintendo Power disc that I got back in the day. Probably did. It's it's nice, but the tracks are short mm -hmm. and very get very re very repetitive. Mm. So for a lot of the time, I just turn the sound off. Really? Yeah. Well, you can listen to other stuff while you play games exactly. like that. You got podcasts. You got music. Absolutely. You got the stories your wife is telling you. Yeah, no, 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 I don't do that. I don't do that. I, when my wife is speaking, I try and give her my absolute full attention. Oh, I thought you were saying no. <laughs> I do not listen to her stories. No, I do not listen to her stories. No, while I I'm blast playing, that pick -ross music. I put down the video game and I listen. Uh -huh. At least I try. Good job, Sam. So, uh, so the, uh, the whole game, consists of four different modes. There's a tutorial mode, which is real short. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Um, those are the regular Picross. There's the Mega Picross, which is a little bit more difficult. They change up the rules a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's all the same puzzles. But it's, I mean, that doesn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, didn't make too much of a difference to me. And then there's what's called Micross, mm -hmm. which is a huge picture that you go and do little individual pictures mm. until you make up the whole big picture and reveal it. That's but there's, cool. There's only one puzzle there, so. Okay. Um, the whole only, thing. Only one big picture? Yeah, only one big picture. So. I see. The whole thing took me about two weeks to get all the way through. Mm -hmm. So. And you have an idea of the hours involved in that? Oh no, I can't really remember. 70. It, yeah, I, I got lost. I got lost in all of the hourage that it took but yeah. it was it was an absolute blast and i definitely recommend picking it up using your mitomo and your other my nintendo platinum points okay you got any tips on how to build those up we said it was easy but uh like just the other day i linked my twitter account mm -hmm. even though i don't really intend to add any friends to mitomo through twitter probably right uh i got a hundred coins for that yeah yeah, it's, I mean, some things are as easy as like linking accounts to your Twitter or your Facebook. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's opting in to promotional messages. I thought that I was already opted in. Okay. But if you go in and you hit opt in, mm -hmm. you get 30 points for opting in and then 10 points immediately and 10 points every month for being opted into the promotional emails. So smart. Yeah, so, so smart. smart. So smart. Log into Mitomo every day, yeah. give three answers, listen to ten answers, mm -hmm. uh, change your clothes, and bam, you've got, I don't know how many points that is, but they stack up really fast if you do that every day. Yeah, make sure to change your clothes in the game, too. Yes. That's... Yeah, oh yeah, do both, please. <laughs> please. Yeah. For yeah. all of our sakes. You can prop, if you dig up your old Google Plus account, I think you'll get another <laughs> hundred coins for that, I too. think so. So it's pretty pretty nice. Indeed. All right. Well, this has been. Oh, do you want to score it or yeah, are you good? Let's give it a score. I'll give it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll give it an eight out of ten. All right. Eight out of ten. I I approve of this game. It was very addicting, uh -huh. and it was a little bit short, but I mean, it was free basically. You didn't see that. Oh, okay, maybe it did. This just fell down my back. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the crew. Don't forget to share this review with your friends so that they can enjoy mm. the wonderful wonders of Picross. And my Nintendo. And my Nintendo. Alright guys, move toward the possibility. Destroy <laughs> the impossibilities. <laughs> Signing out. <laughs>